Got a 2010 Dodge Ram 1500 and my washer fluid reservoir is leaking. I can almost guarantee you if you're having this issue on your truck, it's not going to be your reservoir that's leaking. There's probably not going to be a crack in this reservoir. It's 99% of the time going to be around this pump where it's leaking from. This is pretty easy to get to. You might have to take off your grill and uh, you pop the cover that's kind of covering this up and there's four 10 mils at the top and then some clips at the bottom but once you get to this there's two 10 mils one at the top one at the bottom and then there's a plug for the sensor at the back and then this is the pump itself there's a plug on top of this and then there's a tube going here that you just pull off uh, there's a little rubber gasket white at the bottom with a little filter on that um, I actually pulled that off on mine I replaced it several times I cleaned both surfaces and it still leaks and I think the issue I've discovered is if you can see these these little holes right here these actually go to both sides this goes through the pump on either side and it's actually on both sides I have this one a little covered up but my leak after sealing this at the bottom really good really thick layer all around with black um, gasket maker for like oil pans really thick coat I cleaned both surfaces really good and then I did a really thick coat around here I still have that little plastic filter on the end of this that I left in there and stuck it gently down let that dry but I put everything back together and it's still actually leaking from these little ports right here and I think there's a crack inside of here it's really weird because I sealed this side and it's not leaking anymore from that side and now it's leaking from this side so I've done this before with caulk, white silicone caulk, but it just alcohol, the alcohol and the washer fluid over time just degraded it and it started leaking again. But I know this fixes it. So if you're having this issue, you know, clean both surfaces really good. Make sure and stick that filter in and then put a really thick layer all around a uh, black gasket maker, put it down. But before you do so, I would recommend sealing both sides of these little cracks on both sides with the same gasket maker and again clean that off really good and then seal it. I might have to completely redo this to get to this side. I'm probably going to try and shove the gasket maker all the way through but it fixed it on this side and I just need to do it again on this side because that's actually where the leak is coming from the third time. So anyway hope this helps and uh, it's, it's not a very difficult fix it's just taking it off cleaning it up and then waiting 24 hours for this gasket maker to dry and you could use silicone caulk like I did um, It definitely fixed it for like six months to a year But like I said over time the alcohol and the washer fluid degrades it and it started leaking again Anyway, hope this video helps